Hey guys, it's Emily and welcome back to another episode of Matcha Monday. I know it's been a while, but today I'm actually drinking matcha, so I hope you guys are proud of me, but I'm just gonna set this down because I don't want it to like get all over the place. And you guys know in my Matcha Monday episodes, we talk about anything and everything, and I'm just being real with you, and it's a chance for you to get to know me a little better. So I'm so excited because today I've actually partnered up with Secret Deodorant to talk all about confidence and share some tips and things that you could do to feel more confident in yourself. And if you're as excited as I am, because this is like a surreal moment right now, like to be working with Secret Deodorant and give this video a thumbs up. Up and let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start this video off by sharing one of the definitions of confidence and it is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. So the first tip I'm going to share with you is to feel comfortable in what you're wearing and to look good because if you feel comfortable and you love what you're wearing you're naturally just going to feel more confident whether you know it or not now that you look good and you feel comfortable in what you're wearing the second tip is to smell good and i know this is so cliche and it sounds really weird like why are you including this in a confidence video but think about it, this is why perfume was invented like scent is such a powerful thing and i just wanted to talk about this product here really quick that will make the biggest difference in your life it's such a minor thing but it makes such a huge difference and this is a secret clinical strength invisible solid deodorant and and as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is such a surreal moment for me because I've been using Secret since like middle school and my mom has been using it forever. So it's just a brand that I've grown up with and that I love and now that I get to work with them, it's crazy. But you know, I always keep it real with you guys. So this product right here is so awesome because if you have a busy schedule like I do, all you want to do is just apply your deodorant once in the morning and be done with it. That's what the clinical strength deodorant is meant to do. It's supposed to keep you dry all day. You don't have to worry about sweaty armpits or anything like that. And if you're always on the go like I am, then you definitely don't want to be worrying about reapplying deodorant or worrying about if you smell throughout the day. And sometimes if I'm in a rush, I'll just put this on and I won't even wear perfume because it's strong enough and it smells really good so I don't have to worry about it. And once you smell good and you know you're protected from any like embarrassing sweaty moments or sweaty armpit moments, then you should be good to go. Alright, so once you look good and you feel comfortable and you smell good, the next step or the next tip I'm going to share with you is all about body language. And body language is pretty much universal and this is really when it comes down to the little things making a huge difference so what I've been doing the past couple years while building my confidence is to check on my body language and obviously the two main things that really exert confidence is having your shoulders back obviously this doesn't look very good and you don't want to over accentuate it because that's when you can hurt your back but if you just find like the nice medium where you feel really comfortable and your spine is neutral it just makes such a difference between like this and this and the other major part to focus on is where your chin is at like obviously you don't want to be like this you also don't want to be like sunken into your body as well and especially when you're talking to someone like just have your chin up a little taller you stand taller and you look more confident and you exert more confidence but these are just really good presentation skills as well and they just help with your confidence and even if you don't feel fully confident just doing these little minor things will help contribute to feeling more confident if that makes sense. All right, now that we've covered a lot of like the physical attributes that help with confidence, let's talk about the stuff that you can't see, which is more like mental and inside your head. So this next tip is to stop comparing yourself to others that you see on the internet, especially random strangers. Obviously, everyone that I follow on Instagram, I'm I don't know them personally. I just love what they're showing and what their photos look like, but that's when it gets really easy to start comparing yourself like, "Oh, I'm not doing enough with my life. This person is traveling all the time. They have the perfect lifestyle." style I want that lifestyle like I'm never gonna have it and just like starting to beat yourself up mentally about it that's not gonna help your confidence whatsoever it's actually gonna diminish it a lot and I've been there I've done that and it's just not healthy so you need to stop comparing yourself to others and where they are at in their life and I know we're constantly wanting to compare ourselves to something so if you feel that need just compare yourself to your past Self, if that makes sense so compare yourself to the person you were a year ago like how much have you grown have you learned anything because we tend to overlook those things and we're always focusing on what you haven't achieved yet what you haven't done yet but we never take a second just to sit back and realize like wow I've accomplished all these things and this is really important but just remember that social media is a highlight reel people only show you what they want you to see okay because no one's life is perfect let me just tell you that and the last tip I have for you is to do you and to keep learning and growing because that is so essential to life and you grow through what you go through which is such a cheesy 
cliche but i love that quote because it's so true you can't have the good without the bad and when it comes to confidence it's just one of those things where you have to push yourself out of your comfort zones in order to grow and once you overcome the things that you used to be afraid of you just become a more stronger person and a more confident person and one thing i want to emphasize is that you do not want to settle okay like you don't want to think that right now everything you have is great for the rest of your life like you always want to keep pushing yourself to grow learn more we only have one life make the most of it and if something that's doesn't work out it doesn't work out but definitely keep on pushing forward because like the worst thing you can do is just be settling like you don't want to settle with anything in your life any aspect even your deodorant so with that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed this little heart to heart and maybe learned a thing or two if you guys think i missed any important tips that contribute to confidence go ahead and leave them in the comments below we can make it a really positive environment down there and again a huge thank you to secret deodorant because we believe in the same message and that is pretty much what their clinical strength line is all about so if you guys want to be protected from like sweaty situations and all that stuff and try this out or i'll also leave a link down below for you to check them out but that's all i have for you today make sure to subscribe on the way out and i will talk to you guys real soon bye